Harris uh, lost. You know he got he got knocked out early in the in the fight. Mm-hmm. Took a liver shot, and we we almost thought like, oh, this mu- this might be it. Like, yeah. I don't think he's gonna get up from this. And anybody else, like, we wouldn't blame him. Yeah, like, body shots are the toughest ones to recover from. You know, and so yeah, it was impressive how, how he got back up and he fought on. He lost, but yeah. like, man, to say like, hey, I got up. You didn't put me. You didn't put me away. I think my favorite thing from the event was covering the the Long Beach fighter. Jeter. Oh, Jeter. Jeter and uh, what's the other guy's name? John. No, 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 no. Gutierrez? You can sue? Jeter. Yeah. Yeah, Jeter. Mm-hmm. It was like Roger Gutierrez. Yeah, Roger. I'll that pull it up right now. Yeah. I have, still have the That screenshot. fight was so sick that to was cover. Close. That one was close. Because it could go either way. And uh, Jeter and Gutierrez, the other fighter, reminded me of like, uh, I'm back in 1960. <laughs> like, and to the point, uh, you already know <laughs> what I'm going to say, right? Like, uh, we came out with a new slogan. And like both fighters were fighting inside and it was basically <laughs> phone booth season dude. Phone booth season. just like one two one two <laughs> <laughs> both of them were going at it yeah. and uh and i was telling um matchmaker eddie right mm-hmm. like what's your opinion of this fight and he loved it man yeah. he no, loved it yeah that was that was the toughest one to score because yeah and um, i went i was going through the facebook comments too people watching the the fights live and yeah you know it was split too like we even mentioned during the broadcast, like everything is split. Like the crowd was split between who were they, they were supporting. These guys are punching each other like evenly. Yeah. Um. And and I mentioned to you guys after the third one, I'm not gonna bother scoring yeah. it. I, I, it was just like I'm just gonna write um <laughs> ten ten for every single like it's just like yeah that's the it, only it's, time it's a draw. That's the only time we have sympathy for the yeah. judges. But mm-hmm. even then, just score it as a close fight. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean, it could go either way, but as long as it's a close fight. And Jeter won. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he pulled it off. Yeah, and yeah, I remember we seen him lose. Yeah, last time we saw we um, covered his fights, he it, once again he was fighting a guy with a lot of losses, and he got knocked down, and then he just he just couldn't get back into the fight. Yeah, I mean so these are these are like six round fights, so if you get knocked down, that's already you're in a big hole hole already. And Jerry, remember that fight? Something about that fight that um that I remember so vividly is that he he just like he went into um. Joshua Cloudy more where he just had his hands up and he wasn't throwing anything. He was just getting overwhelmed yeah. with his opponent's volume. And yeah, I feel like he was he just l- like stunned, like literally. Yeah. He was just like, fuck, what do I do? And he learned from that fight. You know, even in defeat, he he learned from that fight and he let his hands go this time around. Yeah, and remember? Chris, we talked about that point, right? We're like, yeah. we, this guy's like a shadow, remember? <laughs> We're like, dude, oh, yeah. the other guy, this Roger Gutierrez guy is going to look in the mirror and yeah. he's just going to see Jeter there yeah. standing. And when he wakes up tomorrow morning, and Jeter's going to be <laughs> right next <laughs> to him. <laughs> When that he closes was, his eyes, true. he's gonna see Jeter. Yeah, that was man. that was hilarious because it was so true. When man. he's walking, that's not a shadow. That's, 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 shadow. that's Derek Jeter. <laughs> no. Yeah, and um, it was like the old cliche of boxing, right? <laughs> Styles makes fights. They yeah. were both like conjoined twins. They do a great job at that uh, All Star Boxing Promotions <laughs> and Eddie, the matchmaker, like Damn. making guys fight each other who who are gonna generate that type of uh, yeah. action. Yeah, and that's that's the type of fight. Like, could have gone either side. It could have been a draw. Could have yeah, been. Yeah, it's one of those fighters fights that if you fight them um, fight like ten times, they'll probably go at zero zero and ten draws. <laughs> 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 so true. That's how <laughs> even it was, dude. Seriously. Oh yeah, it was a good good fight. Yeah, that yeah. was a sick fight. And we're talking about knockdowns too, right? Uh, John Sanchez Leon, mm-hmm. again, our boy from Colombia. Colombia. Who did he fight? He took on uh, Jonathan Espino, a yeah, guy that there previously you go. Espino I brought him name. down. Yeah, <laughs> I can forget the name. And was, you like, know what to do. <laughs> when we were, when we were, you know, when these guys were walking into the ring, uh, we were saying like, we already know what Espino does, right? <laughs> we saw the big knockout that he got <laughs> last time. Yeah, over Sakia. He made a guy do the dancing balloon man <laughs> dance. <laughs> now, that's the thing with Espino. He's got that power to, you know. <laughs> to knock you down and take you out and yeah he i thought i thought leon was gonna be out of there.
You know what's so funny, dude? When I saw his feet, I knock him down. I'm like, shit, he did it again. <laughs> Oh, we gotta put that clip up. Oh man! This, so people, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh man! Man, if you would have said we're gonna see the that the balloon man again, I would have lost it, probably. No. no, but that's what that's one thing about like uh, like covering fights like that, right? It's just that <laughs> anything can happen, man. Yeah. And Espino proved me wrong, and he lasted all throughout the fights, and but the Colombian man took the w that day but uh yeah just so just to give you guys a brief summary of that fight um first round we mentioned about espino's power and mm-hmm. the guy he was fighting guy from colombia i think his record was three and one if i'm not mistaken yeah he was yeah um he had the height advantage mm-hmm. he was longer uh and he was the more technical fighter you can tell from the first round but he got caught in that first round and went down and he was he able to punch? survive yeah and he gave him a punch right he was able to to survive, and then uh, and we mentioned it after the first round, dude. Like, this is what Espino does, right? He yeah. Either knocks you out or gets knocked out. Mm-hmm. And we we're like, this guy from Colombia needs to win every single round to win this fight now, and he did just mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the toughest things. Like when you get hurt, like how do you compose yourself? How do you weather the storm? Because Espino, he we've seen him before. He he gets you hurt and he gets <coughs> you out of there. So I was I was thinking that that might happen again. He might clock him with another t- like another punch and get him out. But nah, the Colombian the Colombianos stay composed and saw it out. Yeah, nice guy, man. Yeah. You talked to him after the fight. You got a, got a selfie with them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta send me <laughs> those. Um, and then we had the, the two women that fought the main event. The main event, and this is exactly when I came out of the locker room. Yeah, with Freddie Roach, and came right in time. But I was not concentrated with the fight. I was yeah. just still stunned. I'm just, but after I after I saw the replay, I saw the fight. I'm like, man, she demolished that woman, man. Damn. And I told you right when she was coming out. I'm like, Chris, this is the best boxer here at this yeah. event today. And mo- mostly every fight we've seen her in, she she does that. Uh, the Cobra Ruiz, that's who we're speaking about. Yeah, she just runs through her opponent, man. It's yep. gonna be tough to find a good opponent for her because she's very. Very good boxer. Very yeah. technical. Has the power. She has a future. You could tell, like, it's not that who she brought into the... She could obviously sell mm-hmm. seats, but yeah. her style fits, it's, like, yeah, it's the, what we want to see in the <coughs> ring. And, like, you could see, like, those punches, like... Yeah. It was kind of like... I'm not trying to compare her, but it was like like the fight with Inouye. Uh, in- 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 mm-hmm. Yeah. Like... He, she's a stalker, yeah, stalker, no. just stalker. Yeah. She's technically sound. Yeah. She's like she's like a boxer puncher. She's a predator at work. You know who she reminds me of? Um, she reminds me of Mikey Garcia, man. Very well balanced. She doesn't mm-hmm. uh, waste any shots. Yeah. And when they land, they land. <clears throat> yeah, and yeah, she has seven wins with four knockouts. So like, you know, most most of the time you're gonna get, you know, that that knockout. Respect to whoever survived against her. <laughs> yeah. No respect to anybody who wants to get in the in ring, the ring with, her. with her. Yeah, yeah, she went up against um, Joseph. So yeah, like she got knocked down a few times and she tried to get ba- back up, but you could just see like just you know, why they call her Cobra. You know, she gets them, she gets them, she gets them out. Do you still have the picture? Who else did we forget to mention? I think we mentioned all of them. Yeah, it was one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so, yeah, we we learned a lot. We saw a lot yeah, during that we, day. We saw yeah. a lot of good fights. Uh, we saw an unfair scorecard. We saw Hall of Famer Freddie Roach there, and um, you know what my favorite part was? It was a big drama show. <laughs> that was my favorite part. It's Throughout fun. the night, some, something was happening in every fight. Mm-hmm. Whether it was a knockdown, whether it was the judges fucking being blind again, yeah. whether it was uh, phone booth people season. fucking bleeding, <laughs> phone booth season. Phone booth season. Yeah, at one point, we're just like, dude, they don't even need the other side of the ring. Yeah. These guys are just fighting in yeah, this corner. In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you, could no put, point. you said you could put them in an elevator and yeah. Yeah. they'll be fighting, huh? They'll be still fighting. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> good so night. That, that good was night. a good night. So the next yeah. one is when? Uh, December twenty second. So this time we yeah. don't have to wait too long. So yeah, you guys want to give sweet. do another giveaway? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Shout out to uh, Miguel and Evan. We're gonna Dang. have some giveaways by the way. So let you know with the Creed Experience too. Yeah. Got Shout out to thing. Miguel and Evan, his ten year old son. Yeah. They Thanks went out there, checked out the fights. Pretty sure they enjoy the show, yeah. and we're gonna be doing another giveaway, hopefully. 
Yeah. All so right. With that, we'll transition over to, to Creed 2. Chris, tell us about your experience. Yeah, it, it was pretty awesome. So I was at, well, before then, you know, I was mentioning, like, remember I was talking about, like, I, I want to be re- reactive instead of proactive, mm-hmm. right? Kind of left that off when I came down to, like, talking about fight night. So uh, that two hours before the podcast, I ended up communicating with Serbio. So that's the company that made Creed Experience. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to see if I'm able to chop it up with them. And I didn't know this until, like, the next day that they were actually going to have a collaboration mm-hmm. at the Complex Con on Sunday. So I already had bought my ticket on Friday. And I'm like, oh, snaps. And then I get, you let me know. Hey, Christian, um, they, they, they hit us back up. I'm like, oh. So then I started, like, communicating mm-hmm. with them back and forth. And they had a set up time to, like, for me to come and, like, lace, not lace the gloves, <laughs> but lace the BR yeah. headset. And, uh, man. Shout so, out to Bad News Burrell. Right, that's his name. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll Dean get. Burrell. Yeah, I'll get to the ex, uh, experience. Got beef with that man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We got Instagram beef. Yeah. Instagram beef. <laughs> you gotta be careful. We're gonna go to his gym, by the way. Just let you know. We're gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be like, all right, hey, this is Gio over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we're in the wrong weight class. Yeah, yeah, but um, I only find like, my, my name is Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Which one, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, so I had a set up time to be there at uh, I think like at. Uh, one mm-hmm. and what was funny was that I didn't check my email that they set it up to 2 p.m. I guess they changed oh, the time there. but uh, I got there and, and I showed them like oh hey, look I'm set up t- to come at this time to test out the game They're like, yeah yeah it's cool so they got me in and and instead of me playing it I wanted to see how the reaction was with the people mm-hmm. and there was a long line dude there was like was 30 tough. people like waiting for this game mm-hmm. and um and I then I started like saying, you know what? Let me let me test it out. After mm-hmm. I saw two people, I was recording it. And dude, virtual reality headset and boxing, dude, is gonna change like the game as far as like in the future when you go to a gym. Mm. I let me tell you something. Saturday and Sunday at nine AM till ten thirty, I'm at the beach running like yeah. three like two or three miles, then I go straight to the gym. I don't break a sweat until probably like the, the second yeah. mile mm-hmm. i broke a sweat dude probably during the first 30 seconds when i had that headset dude. Oh, yeah so the, one of the coolest thing is that it's literally like you're boxing mm-hmm. if you know how you were talking about like we we have a friend in fight night that just throws all the shout until, out to ivan until he gets <laughs> gassed out and then you <laughs> counter punch him and then you <laughs> knock him out you can't do that in this yeah. game dude you can't and part of the reason because one you're gonna get, get tired, tired, dude. You're you better be in get good shape tired. if you're gonna do that. Mm. You're gonna get tired. You better be Leo Santa Cruz, Paul Williams if you're gonna do yeah. that, dude. <laughs> and then when you when you're when the the virtual your opponent hits you, you have to have your hands up wow. to block the shots. Damn. And then if you get knocked out, right? If you get knocked out, you, you start. You you're, you you ever seen the uh, the movie? Uh, it came out like in oh my gosh, it's about the African American guy. It, I forgot it just came out like it. It was like a scary movie. It came out like in January last year or two. Get years. out. Get out. Get out. Okay. You know how you he goes fades back. Yeah. In the black. <laughs> it was just like that. You get knocked out and then are you going to the universe? And then that you go to dark hole. Yeah, you oh, can, yeah, that's, that's how it is. You like get you black then, out. Then you black out. You back white. So the only way you could come back. From eternity, you have to go like this. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. You know, Holy you, shit. Yeah, you that's to, like you're doing ropes. Yes, <laughs> it's the same thing, dude. And you okay. get tired. Yeah, yeah. And if, and if you got really like knocked I, out, you have to go faster. You go like this, okay. dude. And I'm like, they're breaking, digging deep or something. Yes, right? yeah. dude. And I'm breaking like literally a sweat, dude. Damn. And keep in mind, I'm not sure how stupid I look because I have the headset. Yeah. You can only imagine yeah. like, that guy do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but it was so dope because like. I was like, you know how I'm at the gym throwing jabs like already, yeah. in the, but right there, just jab, 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 like hook, left, like mm-hmm. you're literally boxing, dude. It's yeah. like, and that's what I was saying to you like two years ago, coincidentally, I was at ComplexCon doing Call of Duty. Yeah. And it was like, uh, all right, it's all, right. It all right. And I remember like years ago when I used to play PlayStation, I used to have a friend that would go like this with the control, like thinking like it could actually move, mm. like it could, like, like it could move it, but not necessarily, dude. And this, 
you literally do have to do your head movement. You, you literally, literally have, have to do have like your hands up. You literally have to throw the jab. Dang. And I mentioned to you guys, like, what do you guys take away when you guys play FIFA? Yeah. Like, do you guys incorporate that into the yeah. real world? Oh, man, this game right there. And I'm not just trying to say it because I'm going to have a meeting with them on Tuesday. But mm -hmm. this game, dude damn it's like you're at the gym you're like at the gym you're practicing the yeah. stuff that you practice at yeah. the gym and geo and chris you cannot wear jeans when you're <laughs> when you're <laughs> playing this video you gotta have your shorts put your dry fish shirt yeah and, or put your headband because you're literally gonna sweat dude when Canelo, you're playing this game Canelo headband yeah <laughs> yeah Man. so yeah so props to them with this game dude like yeah, they deliver dude good. dude yeah they deliver like i'm so like fucking ecstatic mm -hmm. just because like the potential of what we're gonna have later on in the future did they say anything about the cost or, or anything of the video game is thirty dollars mm -hmm. but then oh, you, you shit, also have to, what the hell? you have yeah. to but you also to have, the have to the oh, okay okay yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I don't see. worry i see I'm, that's coming soon for me after playing this game dude i am black not friday lying. <laughs> black, black friday, friday. <laughs> black friday seriously but um this game i'm so excited no man that's cool man that's yeah. you're getting like a full workout like it is a, a few and i was watching the people play and they were all having fun man yeah. and this is why i was talking about boxing how it's becoming mainstream mm -hmm. having a video game brings people to the sport yeah mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so in this case like this game like the movie is out it's going to come out in two weeks and then you have the video game playing adonis it's such a great experience like boxing dude is it just his character oh you can play i um i'm not sure about that because i was just playing the demo oh, okay I, I got knocked out in the second round dude like that's Damn. yeah is that this is not this is boxing dude it's not video game anymore like it's literally like real life second round you sure it's not rocky three <laughs> nah no i i i love it i love and i'm and so we have uh we're gonna meet with the developers on yeah, tuesday. tuesday so i'm looking forward to like chopping it up with them yeah. and just see the potential of what could happen later on in the future and uh so against the ropes against the ropes number one freddie roach thank you very much